in this bin. We got our conveyor back. I don't think we've used it since, but since we had some work done to it, they had to change this bracket in here. It, had, it got bent and there was an update kit on this thing. And so they, uh, they replaced that, did some fix into it. And uh, hopefully she gets running good. Hopefully we can load this uh, truck up quick. I got a trucker coming. Got a load of oats going down to the States. And uh, as soon as that's done, Peter and Rob are busy feeding the cows right now. And then uh, we're taking those loads of canola away. So hopefully the trucks start good. Auger started a lot better. Well, this one did. Uh, then it did a couple days ago. So as long as the trucks load up, as long as the trucks start up good, then uh, we'll get those loads of canola away today. Normally we haul our own oats, but uh, the contract we had was uh, picked up in the yard. So we'll take it. Uh, it's a trucking company from about half hour away that's hauling this load away. So get him loaded and then get ourselves on the road. loaded to go with eight minutes this conveyor is a little bit slower than our other one but the bin you can only unload it as fast as the bin is taking it or you're uh, sending it out so this trucking company uh, is owned by this is PK freezing out of Morris and I believe it's the owner that uh, owners uncle and aunt who we actually bought this farm off of so a little bit of history there and the uh, trucker said this load is going all the way down to Iowa so it's about a 10 hour drive a bit of a haul all right I got him all loaded up it took a little over 15 minutes I'm gonna put this auger the conveyor back in the shed when it's out of the when our motors are out of the elements of outside they sure start a lot nicer so when we're doing this again when we're loading up so put her away the door hopefully all right let's try this again hopefully these trucks start a little better than they did the other day If this one doesn't start, I'm gonna guess that I got a battery that's got a slow, or I got a battery that's going bad on me. But let's hope she fires up. It's not even that cold, so I gotta have a battery that must be pooched. have old faithful hopefully she starts up okay come on there, we're gonna go 
from one already. was a little boost so I clearly have battery issues ironically enough this silver 9900 we're thinking there may be batteries these batteries are going to batteries I tell you um, so we got a trickle charger going on it and that charger going on it. All the batteries are disconnected. Once they're fully charged, we're gonna find out which, which battery on this truck is shot. Hopefully it's just one. Those batteries are only, uh, I think eight months old. We put new batteries on this truck in spring. So yeah, need good batteries to start in our cold, but heck you need good batteries in general. Well, chores are done. We went in and got a quick bite to eat. And now we're heading out. Hopefully we can do this in about three hours round trip, maybe a little bit more. We still have a bit of chores to do with the cows. Nothing serious, just a bit of bedding. And uh, I got another trucker coming for road, so. Hopefully everything goes smooth. Awesome. There is no lineup in front of us at the moment. Well, we're getting probed, so this is nice.
There you go. Now my ticket comes right out this window and we're out of here. Made it back without a problem. Everything went good. Three hours roughly around trip. We were gonna bed the cows, but I'll just do that tomorrow. It's uh do that when we're feeding. So that should be just fine. It's supposed to be fairly warm this weekend. We're sitting around minus four, which is good. It's nice. I added some bunk space here. We're on a cable cross just to make sure the cow these heifers don't jump out, but they needed more bunk space because they were uh when we were feeding they weren't all able to eat at just this trough. But these heifers are looking really good. They're growing good. Eating good. So yeah, figured I'd just check on them just to make sure they uh how they're doing with feed and everything. So that's a wrap. Daryl's already out west. He's in Saskatchewan looking at some uh, bred cows that we're going to be buying and uh, bringing them home. So it's Friday. Hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks for taking time to watch. Have a good one.